drinking water with my girl Bonnie here. So uh, this is how I go about it. Uh, the main water that they're drinking I provide with a pipette and water. Some people uh, have waterfalls and pools and but personally I have seen some videos but mine don't drink from standing water and I like to give them fresh water like this every day a couple of times a day I normally do this you know plus uh, when I spray down my viv I see them licking it off the leaves and things like that some people provide it with uh, uh, rainmakers and misters and stuff like that but hey uh, how I go about this I kind of let them see the drop See, they focus on it, and as soon as I kind of uh, lean in, they know what to do. I like this method, um, especially with younger ones, because, you know, I do this from, from day one with them, really. But uh, I like it because I can make sure, and I can see how much they're taking in, make sure they're drinking, which is so important, especially when they're younger. But uh, on a different behalf, a great way for them to kind of understand that you in their space isn't a bad thing. is a nice little way to engage with a dragon, especially ones I find that I've taken in that are a bit older. Um, she's chilled and knows what to do. Sometimes I find if I go into a dragon and it doesn't want to drink, I, I apply a little bit of pressure here on the side of... <laughs> a little bit of pressure here on the side of the lip. And they'll just start drinking. For those that are a little bit more stubborn. But yeah, that's how I go about it. She can drink as much as she wants. She'll she'll let me know when she's done. Love the the yellow on her frill. She came to us mid last year, this one. All, uh, all my dragons are kind of uh, are red on the frills instead of the yellow, so it'll be nice going forward this year to see what happens. Anyways, good luck. <laughs>